when I was, when I had graduated from college, I had a degree in theater. Wow, every parent's dream, right? So my first job was actually using that degree. Um, I became an intern at a regional theater company. There were um, 12 of us, maybe a few more um, at this company, interns. All of us came to the job, came to this theater with various backgrounds and various um, supports and resources. Um, my parents weren't wealthy at all. They were actually poor. My $400 a month was what I earned. I had one roommate. Other interns, um, I think five of them lived in um, an apartment on the upper level of an old Victorian house. Um, but it was one of the best jobs ever. Um, we all stuck together, even off the job. Um, on our day off, Monday, um, we hung out together. Um, we went to dinner together when we were able to do it. Um, and at holidays, when we couldn't go home, we pooled our money and we feasted. Um, Thanksgiving, we had a 20, 20, 25 pound turkey. It seemed huge. And we bought butter and it was pasted in, I think, a pound of butter. And we had all the sides and all the pies and there were 12 of us in this tiny little living room enjoying this feast. A few years later, um, I was still working at the same company. I was on staff, but not earning much more. And management came to all of us, sat us down, and said, we can't pay you for the next two weeks. That was bad. Um, and we had to keep working because the only way to get more money into the budget was to keep working toward the show that would start running in two weeks and then we could get paid again. So we all got together in the kit canteen around the table, staff, interns, everybody except upper management. We were a little miffed at them. And we all looked at one another and said, who needs what? Who's got a bill that they're not going to be able to meet? We were all living paycheck to paycheck, but some had resources and some needed resources. And so we pooled our money, what we had, and we gave, you know, $20 this way, $50 that way, whoever needed to get by. Um... And actually, the restaurants in the area for those two weeks um, fed us for free at dinner every night. They took care of us. And we made it through. That theater company is still alive today. That, being an intern, is much like being part of St. John's, being a disciple of Christ. Um, we all pitch in, we all help each other, and we all help our neighbor. Um, and we are able to do that regardless of the circumstance because we have made a commitment. Um, and because this is what Jesus taught. We take care of one another. And that is why I pledge every year. Um, my pledge is not always what I would like it to be. I mean, e economy changes. But I pledge because I believe in being there for my siblings, whether they are part of the church or they are not. So I hope you will join me. Think on it prayerfully and make a pledge for 2021. We all need St. John's. Our neighbors need St. John's. And Jesus told us to love our neighbor.